And joining us now to talk more about the CIF's decision is the Coronado Unified School Board President, Lee Pontus. Lee, good to see you. Thanks for joining us. Hey, Logan. Good evening. So I know you're upset, as a lot of people in Coronado are with this decision. Uh, tell me what your thoughts are concerning that and also what options there are in response to it. Thank you for your question, Logan. Now, uh, I was a little bit upset that they decided to vacate the game and uh, essentially strip the title. I didn't think that was... That was essentially the right thing to do. Uh, Miss uh, Candy Castle was just uh, speaking a minute ago. You had her on. I believe that was recorded. But uh, she recognized that the game was separate from the incidents that came afterwards. I do not disagree with her on that. Um, and uh, vacating the title is not something that I wanted to happen. And we do intend uh, to uh, to uh, for an appeal. We will appeal this decision. How do you appeal it? What's the process? Uh, the first thing we have to do is we have to uh, meet and direct a uh, Superintendent of Schools to uh, to to uh, uh, announce the appeal to provide the appeal to the CIF. I don't think it's that difficult of a process that we can we can accomplish that. Is it similar to like when uh, a case is appealed? You you write up a, a brief and you you state your points and then maybe there's a hearing and and a decision. Well, we do have ongoing investigations that I'm sure will be part of that appeal. Uh, I think you've heard that Orange Glen is uh, privately uh, investigating. We have hired a, a team to investigate separate from the uh, uh, members of the team that are on the school district. Uh, so those things will need to be considered. Uh, and definitely, as I said, what happened in the game should not strip the title away. What happened after the game, that's a whole different story. And it's difficult. It's a difficult time for us here in Coronado because that is not something that we are accustomed to seeing here in our town. Uh, however, it was an incident that we do need to recognize, and that's the reason that the board tried to get out in front of this in the beginning. Uh, the board is being thrown in the bus a little bit by the mayor in this case. Uh, he actually approached us first as a resident. And well, okay, Lee, uh, we froze up there a little bit, but stay with me. Uh, I'm curious because we learned today that it was just this one individual, the CIF executive director, who made this decision. When we had heard about the decision, I think a lot of us in the newsroom thought, well, there's a board and there's a vote and they came to the decision based upon discussion. But we're learning today, at least I am, that this was one individual who made the decision, Just it was just a sole decision. Is that common for this? Well, this is not a common occurrence in the first place, uh, Logan, and I, I agree with you on that. One person should definitely not be making the decision on his own. I did not hear of that until I tuned into your show just a few minutes ago. So a, an appeal uh, process, I hope, would involve, as I say, several investigations and many more people than just a single person. Yeah, it sounds like maybe there's some kind of a compromise that could happen. Maybe the sanctions uh, get reduced. Maybe some training for individuals who were involved. Maybe the person who brought the tortillas needs to be spoken to. This also goes to 2024. Mayor Bailey making the point that kids who aren't even at that school right now are somehow going to be penalized by what happened, you know, this year. Well, we... We, we can participate in games and we can play in playoffs. We just cannot host games. And we do need to do some sensitivity training with coaches, administrators, and student athletes from all teams in all aspects. So um, that's all doable. And that's not going to prohibit children from or our students from getting out there on the playing field and participating in games. We can make that happen. My biggest concern is get, getting the title back for the boys that uh, definitely earned it on the court. Yeah, they certainly played their hearts out. Uh, Lee Pontus with the Coronado Unified School Board President. Uh, uh, great to see you, Lee. Please keep us up to date on that appeal. Uh, we appreciate it. We will, Logan. Thank you for having me. So the